Hey there guys! Long time no see. Um, I just got back from a jog, so that is why I'm all red-faced and sweaty and nasty and stuff. But I was thinking, wow, it has been like over a month, I think, since I posted my last video. I have done like a few posts on my blog, but you know, things have been pretty hectic, what with like, I don't know, graduating from college and everything. That has been so exciting and it was really, really just like a busy, hectic, crazy, super enjoyable, super, super fun and just really like love-filled past two weeks. Uh, I mean, maybe not the most love-filled from like a self perspective. I've been pretty like insane in the brain a little bit with like papers and tests and everything like final coming due, but I don't know, it was just really, really fun. It was stressful because there was like family coming from like all over the state and like out of state and like not just my family, like Steven's family and my friend's families, but it was, you know, it was just really nice, like all of the culminating, all the feels, there were so many feels. It was just, it was a lot of fun, but it was also very time consuming, so I haven't had the most amount of time to post or, you know, just like be creative. So I took like then the week after I graduated, I took a week and I went and I saw my family and I just explored and like had a lot of like reflection and like self, like alone time, had a lot of me time in the like the past week or so. So I have gotten more like creative inspiration, all of the like, I don't know, like creative juices are flowing again. I, it's just like, when you're in school, there's so much that you have to be thinking about, and it's creative, and it's very, like, academic and fulfilling, and, like, there's plenty of thought provocation happening, but it's just, like, it's different when it's, you're being told to think, whereas, like, sometimes once you, like, take a step back, then you can, like, think for yourself, and think about yourself and how you feel and what is the most like fulfilling thought that you could have right now and so that's kind of what I've been doing. Um, so that's like my mental update about how my brain has been but um, also I now am working full time which is super f fun. <laughs> it's not um, it's not like unfun or anything like that but it's it's work which is fine and I'm doing it, so that's a thing. Um, but I've also had free time then to like brainstorm my own ideas. So I have, right now, I have like a little notebook over there that I have been writing in, like, not like nonstop, but pretty frequently the past few days. Just like ideas of videos that I wanna do, of blog posts that I wanna do, of so many different things that I have not had time to like think about really but they're like ideas that have always been swimming in the back of my head they just haven't had the time to be executed and I guess that that's kind of an excuse but it's an excuse that is real for me some people are able to multitask like 20 million things I'm only able to multitask like 10 million things so sorry but, you know, you have to put your, your own abilities and your own, like, know your limit kind of thing. And I knew in my limit that all of those ideas and all of the writing that I want to do couldn't be done to the extent that would make me happy while I was, like, thinking about having a full-time job and graduating from college and making sure that I did the best that I can in the final few months of that. So that's where I've been and that's what I have been now, like, catching up and doing. And I'm pretty excited, so I hope you guys are excited. Uh, I guess this is kind of like a reintroducing what I want to do. I have some cool ideas, um, some music stuff. I've been like brainstorming um, kind of like covers, but like more of like creative interpretations of different songs that I want to do. Um, so we'll see how those go. Right now I have one that I've like seriously thought about and it's pretty cool. Um, because, and what is now like going to allow me to do this more easily, is I just got a new computer. So I have like, um, it's like the new MacBook. The one has the touch bar across the top. Mine does not have a touch bar across the top because A, that tacked on like an extra like 
three to five hundred dollars and I'm not really about that because I can do pretty much everything that the touch bar could do just like less expediently on this one but I got this like education apps bundle so it was just like a cheaper like discount like like a discounted version but like in bundle form of music editing software photo editing software like Final Cut Pro Mm, two other things. It was like five different apps for the new MacBook and now I have it and so I am super pumped to try it out. I have like a bit of I guess like editing and stuff like that. I'm more so done like video editing things um, but you know music editing sounds fun although I'm not used to really like having my voice or the songs edited. It's just been like choral concerts or like me playing the piano, but we'll see. Maybe it'll open up some new ideas and new uh, sounds and stuff like that. That could be cool. Um, I also have some neat like um, cooking videos. I think I might do one of those pretty soon too. Um, I have some chickpeas that I found in my cupboard and I've seen a lot of videos um, most notably and, uh, like, I don't know, inspirational, like, the main inspiration, I guess, for that is I was watching, um, Nikki Limo's videos and stuff, and she does a lot of cool, like, veg-vegan, plant-based things, and so I think I might test out, um, some aquafaba things since I have a whole bunch of chickpeas, which, you know, like, I enjoy chickpeas and I have been kind of craving them and so I'm not entirely sure how I didn't find them in my cupboard sooner but I've got like three or three or four cans of chickpeas in there so we'll see what happens with that um and then yeah so I want to do music some neat cooking things soon um I am also you know like I've been talking about how busy I am and that's probably pretty boring by now but I'm also studying for the LSAT because I am planning I guess is the right word on uh, going to or at least applying for and hopefully going to um, law school in about a year and a half I'm taking a gap year to do some work obviously like I said I was working full-time but also just like take a slight break from school because you know I've been in school for the past 12, 16 years, that's a lot of school, so I'm gonna take a time out <laughs> and reflect on things and earn some money and, you know, start to pay off the hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt before I tack on a few more. And yeah, so I've been studying for the LSAT, and that's a lot, <laughs> but I think, depending on how I do, I feel like, I'm not gonna say I feel like it's gonna be okay because, you know, you can't really predict that, but... I've been studying like a lot and I've developed some like little tips and ideas and stuff that I have so depending on how I do and if those tips and stuff actually work as I feel like they will I think I might like share some of those with you I mean that's a pretty narrow audience of people who'd be looking from me for LSAT advice but you know I'll put it out there and see who picks up because um, I feel like it could be helpful and watching videos has actually been some of the more helpful studying that I have done and like effective so we'll see how that goes and then if it goes well then I can uh, share some of those ideas with you what else um, I don't have any memberships to our um, university gyms anymore so I've got to work out on my own and it's less fun because I'm not doing like $35 for four months group classes uh, now for like <laughs> four months of group classes it's like $350 if not more god like gym memberships in the Pittsburgh area are redonkulously expensive and I don't know how to like afford them right now so I'm just doing it on my own um, probably slightly less effective just because I'm like a I mean, I'm a very independent, introverted person, but I work out best, and I've learned this over the past, like, year and a half since I started taking these, like, classes. I'm working out more in, like, a group, like, university setting. I do much better when I have, like, other people to, like, challenge myself against, which is maybe, like, not the best, but I can't be alone in that being, like, my motivator for working out harder. 
but yeah so I have been doing like exercise videos and jogging and stretching and stuff and it's fine I haven't seen the hugest amount of change but I have not gained like 20 pounds and I have been exercising like at least I feel like less hard so I, something's something's happening and it's okay but I might do um, I've been doing some like hit workout videos so I might uh, develop like a few ideas of like some circuits and see if I like them and then maybe I'll share them with you and see if you like them and then yeah so I think that how much yeah this has been like 11 minutes of me babbling so I'm gonna take a a break here a much shorter break because I'm hoping now that I have some free time to try and get videos posted every like between Friday and Sunday right now it's Saturday and I had off yesterday, but I kind of took that as like a me day to like study and clean and like do some stuff like that. So it's Saturday. So hopefully I can get this like sorted and edited up by Sunday. And then I want to get back into a routine of doing that. So yeah, hopefully I will see you guys in one week, maybe ish within a day or two, one week. And uh, with a less babbly sit down talk video than this, I'll probably have a, more of a theme to it. Maybe one of those ideas that I just talked about. That'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, I hope that you have stuck around through this like hiatus of no videos. And hopefully you'll come back and see me again next week. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.